Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing something I have not done on my channel but keep meaning to because I feel like it would just be <laughs> a great way to spend time. So I'm going to be kitting up, I'm actually kitting up these mini floral paintings from Paint Gem. This is actually one I got uh, a while ago when they first started releasing these. So that's kind of a fun little fact, but I'm going to be kidding this up. Ooh, look at all these little baggies. Oh my gosh, it is like overwhelming. And I'm also going to be putting them here in this cool Art Dot storage unit. So Art Dot sent this to me a while back and I'm just now getting around to playing with it, but it's actually a really cool concept. So they have these storage units like this. They actually can lock together and stack. So this is two stacks high, two stacks across, but you can get more and stack them and stick them together. And they lock using this little side piece here. So it's pretty cool. And then you open the drawers and you have all of your drills ready to go. So I'm going to kit mine up and I think, let me get the stickers out. Let's see, we have quite a few in here. So yeah, I'm just going to start adding the drills to the little bottles here and then chit chat about, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I might also, I mean, there are so many in here. I mean, how many are in each? They come with the bottles, by the way. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's 32 bottles per drawer. You could easily kit a whole painting, um, but you could also probably t do two. <laughs> like have the one row, like the bottom row for one, top row for another. And then they have these little labels you can actually pop out and write what's on there. But instead, I'm going to use dry erase marker. That way I can just keep reusing it. So yeah, I'm going to kit into this tray. If you're asking why this tray and not this tray, it's because I'm going to do my bakery edition over here. But yeah, I'm going to kit up my mini kits. And I'll be working on mini kits here and there just because I feel like they're a great way to... I don't know, they're snack-sized is what I'd like to call them. So yeah, I hope you all are doing well. I normally don't diamond paint in my art studio, so this will be a new experience. <laughs> Where's my scissors, actually? Because what I like to do is just cut the top off these baggies and then pour them in that way. I used to have a funnel. Don't know where that went. Only thing I hate about the little baggies, I'm gonna have to get these on the tray is the static and downstairs I have a whole thing of like pre-cut lovely little whatchamacallit dryer sheets <laughs> to help with the static but upstairs here I do not oh wow these are really staticky they're actually worse when you pull them out so I'm gonna have to go downstairs and get my dryer sheets because these are nuts so yeah, this is a really cool storage concept and I'm really excited about it just because most of the time I use like the Elizabeth, what is it, Elizabeth Ward ones. Um, I tend to use those for most of my paintings, but this time around I was like, you know, it'd be fun to kit these little guys up in this just because, well... I can kit all of my mini kits, so if I don't feel like working on my mini florals one day, it's not a big deal. It's already kitted up and in the little bottles here, but I can go and like grab the bakery edition or the mystery edition. I unboxed a few the other day. What else did I get? Oh, there's an autumn one, and gosh darn it, I wish I would have grabbed it, but you know, by the time it gets here... It's just going to be too late. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? I will do that another day. Um, but yeah, I think I want to do the autumn one would have been fun, but it just feels too late. So I'll wait for them to come out with like a winter or Christmas mini kit and grab that. But when I first got Paint Gem, all they had was this mini floral one. 
and like a cactus. Oops. Wow, I am too much coffee, not enough. <laughs> I need to put my tray under me here. This is just the cheap tray it came with, by the way. Nothing fancy schmancy. Um, so yeah, when they first started coming out, they only had like the flowers and oh, I want to say monuments. This one does not want to come out of the bag. And then there was something else they had and now I can't recall what the other kit was but yeah they didn't have a lot and um, I had gotten the floral ones and then I just went back for some reason I can't remember what made, prompted me to go back and take a look but then I was like oh my gosh they have all these kits including mystery kits um, they had the bakery edition they have more floral kits they're so not just the single one that I have so they've really like expanded their line and this is all, all over the course of like less than a year so it's kind of interesting but if you want to see what these floral ones look like real quick I can show you because I never did do an unboxing for these but aren't these pretty now they're all square drills I think these might be upside down there we go okay I guess I got some right side up some not look at that isn't that pretty and you can just like grab any one of these and be like I'm gonna work on this one today so I'll leave a link to paint gem in the description below I know a lot of people have don't know about them but like I said when they first came out they had very limited options and now they have like a ton <laughs> so I'll also leave a link in the description below to this super fun storage unit, but yeah, I think that's what I'm going to use this storage unit for is all of my mini kits so that I can just work on each mini kit as I feel like it and kind of just go from there. But yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. I am currently working on a Drills and Chills painting. That's the Luna Myth. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't film today. I clearly can't talk and or function. Uh, it's the Lunar Moth Witch one, and that's from Diamond Art Club. But I'm hoping to finish it by the end of this month, so I'm trying to really belt it out, which is rather crazy of me because I'm not very quick with square drills, and that's exactly what that kit is, is squares. But I'm going to try and finish it because for October, I want to work on the Dragon Sentinel one. I did an unboxing for it. I absolutely love that kit. It is so pretty. Oh, there's just so many pretty kits out there. Um, and I keep, I swear, I'll be like, I'm on a no buy. And then I buy more. And in fact, I'll be doing a diamond painting haul here very soon because I have no self-control. Um, <laughs> I don't, I'll either be like, okay, I'm not going to buy kits and then I'll end up buying like diamond painting accessories instead. And I'm like, okay, whatever. But here's the thing with kits, right? Uh, they last as long as you leave them in the box and the wrapping, you'll be fine. Uh, most of them come with a lifetime guarantee. Of course, you know, 20 years from now, diamond art club may not be in business. Who knows? <laughs> so take that lifetime, you know, loosely, but um, I just figure it's like adult coloring. You're in the mood to color certain things at certain times of your life. And, um, how is it people put it? Oh, like the seasons of your life. And so it might not be like, I might not be in that particular season. And so I might not feel like coloring that one or coloring diamond painting that one that year um but or i bought it and at that time i wanted to color or do the painting but you know later i was just like oh that's not my you know i'm not feeling it now so i kind of feel like that's with the painting collection you get them for seasons of life you know sometimes you're really in the mood for a complicated one other times you're not <laughs> so, or maybe you're just like you got an itch to do a certain artist um so yeah, I think it's okay to own a ton of diamond paintings, and who's it hurting anyway? I mean, really. Uh, however, I have noticed, 
like I shared my diamond painting collection video and I got a lot of snarky comments and you know whatever to each their own however a lot of my kits if I know I'm never going to end up doing it or I've just lost total interest I actually put it in a de-stash pile so I have a de-stash pile and that pile is there to give away to my subscribers um, so really it benefits all of you if I keep hauling <laughs> kits that I don't need uh, but yeah I just always find it funny when people get get so snarky about hauls like it's it's that person's money it's, you know who cares what they do with their money let them live we all have to enjoy our lives and we enjoy it in different ways. But I like to buy diamond painting kits and I work on them. And I am getting faster. Oops, I have a few at the bottom. I don't know how generous Paint Gem is with giving you extra drills. Some companies give you a ton, other companies are quite stingy. So you're like, oh shoot. We'll find out when I finish one of their kits. Yeah, I want to kit up this floral one. I definitely want to kit up the bakery one because it's so freaking cute. And oh, I don't know what I want to do next. But I've got all those little ones. Maybe the mystery one. Although the mystery one, I gotta say, I'm not as intrigued. Simply because, like, some of them are like landscape or monuments or space. I don't know. <laughs> Things I'm not totally interested in. So I'm like, uh, but they would be fun. We'll see. I wonder. Ooh, these drill, these drill things come out. So that makes it easier. This is a lot of colors for a floral one. But yeah, so I'm working on the Luna Moth Witch. Um, that one has a decent amount of color blocking but not not a ton and I am not the best at square kits uh, for a couple reasons like first of all I have OCD uh, those of you who watch my coloring channel which is colorfully optimistic I'll try to remember to link that below but I've already got like so many link commitments <laughs> in this video <laughs> but um, yeah, when it comes to uh, coloring and whatnot, uh, I do have OCD, so coloring actually helps with OCD. And diamond painting <laughs> does not. So if I'm having a lot of stress that week or my OCD is really flaring up, I tend to not diamond paint because I start to get too focused on the lines. Everything has to be perfect. And then, yeah, a painting never gets done. That's kind of what happened to the latest painting I finished was Miss Macaroon. Because um, I'll go in there with my tool and straighten it. Because, like, I just can't can't handle the lines being off. Um, so, yeah, with squares, it's harder. Because, like, you know, you want them perfectly lined up. Because if you see any gaps, you're just like, ah! So... I have noticed square kits actually stress me out more. So that's why I don't buy them as often, but there's just so many kits that I think are so pretty and they come in square. I'm like, gosh darn it, I gotta get over this. So I'm hoping the Luna Moth Witch one will be like a good, good way for me to practice not being so afraid. I don't wanna say afraid, uh, easily stressed out. Maybe that's a better way to put it. Oh, here we go. It's this color. We shall see. But I would have liked that one to have a lot more com um, color blocking. But it's okay. The next one I'm going to do, though, that Dragon Sentinel, that one is a square as well. But that one doesn't stress me out because it is like color blocking galore everywhere. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, that's perfect for me. But oh well. These little ones maybe will help with that maybe help get me over my my anxiousness but I'm always sitting there with a straightener trying to make them perfect which is kind of ridiculous let's see oh and so for the Etsy store I am working on the October box 
uh, Ellie P and I, you know, have partnered for these boxes. She's doing the trays. Um, and this year, this month, I should say, not year, <laughs> the tray is a purple glitter. Now, this is not on her store. Um, she actually had to special order to make these, but uh, she may start offering the purple glitter, and she may have made extra to offer like to you guys on her store as a limited edition, uh, like she had planned to do with the peach ones. But I ended up saying, hey, I've got so many requests. Can I snag more peach ones off of you? Which we did last month or, well, it was for this month. But the thing is, is I buy them a month ahead because these boxes actually are planned out two months ahead. Um, and like right now, so the October one is already planned and done. Everything's ordered for it. I'm starting to make things uh, like I've got, I'm on the fence on the cover minders, but I did make these black resin hearts, but they have a bunch of purple glitter in them. So I made four just because I was testing out the color combo. Um, that's not an air bubble. It's like from the mold, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> Uh, I actually hate that the mold has that there, but yeah, so I did make these and they're really fun. Um, so I may make more. I only made four because I wanted to test it out and see what I thought. But the other option is I have this cute, these cute little poly, um, polymer clay things I can make. And so I don't know. I'm on the fence. It's between those hearts, which would look really cute with the tray, or making like pumpkin and candy corn polymer cover minders. So I'm on the fence on that part, but regardless, everything's in the works. I'm testing it out. I am gonna do something different with the wax melt. So I had put in a poll on this channel and my main channel um, and it was pretty much split down the middle with four cents so I had let's see I had poison apple which is a, a really fun smell and then I had witch's brew and then I had my pumpkin spice latte and then I had oh gosh what was the last one oh black cherry chai and they all pretty much are getting the same amount of votes across both channels so that's not really helping when they're all split <laughs> so equally <laughs> so what I decided to do is I am going to make the wax melt option where you get to pick it so normally the wax melt is already picked it's part of the box I pre make a bunch of them uh, October will have 30 boxes however I am just going to put in there when you place your order for the box you get to pick the wax melt between one of those four so that you can either have pumpkin spice latte witch's brew poison apple or black cherry chai and I think that'll be easier um, and that way no one's stuck with a scent they don't like or anything like last month was peach and I just figured out ah, most people will like peach but I think it'll be fun to do that with these fall scents because they're a little stronger and then like I said the opinion was so <laughs> spread out I was like ah so yeah I will let the purchaser decide which wax melt will come with their little kit um, this month's kit will cost more than last for a couple reasons one we're, we did a glitter tray, and so the glitter trays cost more for LEP to make, which means, you know, obviously it costs more for me to buy off of her because I buy them in bulk from her for this project specifically. Um, so the price will have to increase on the box um, so that I actually, you know, don't go, don't go in the red for these boxes. Um, and then also the diamond painting pens, I've already turned, I poured and turned those about a month ago, but this month I am actually putting cat's ear tips on the single placer. So that'll cost a little bit extra too because I'm adding the cat's ear tips. Uh, the ends will still be plastic tips. 
However, in November, I will be offering a full set of metal tips. Um, not only will you get the Cat Sear single placer, but you'll get metal multi placers with that pen. So yeah, it's just evolving, um, but the price will be a little bit more just because of what's included in this month's kit. So just keep that in mind. Some months, um, you know, the box will be a little more, especially the more elaborate we get with like the supplies and stuff like that. But either way, you're still getting everything in that box for way cheaper than if you bought it separately. <laughs> Whether you bought the tray from LEP or the pens from me or anything like that, it's all about like 20%. I Usually that's how I calculate it, is 20% off retail price. I am drinking my Beans and Brew coffee, by the way. Although as spastic and as shaky as I am today, perhaps that's a bad idea. Too late now. <laughs> Let's see, 4.34. So yeah, I'm really excited though for this box. I'm, I might even just include two cover minders. I don't know because I love them both. <laughs> um, but I do need to decide because if I'm going to do those resin hearts, so please do comment in the description below or just not description in the comment section. This is why I said I don't need more coffee. Uh, do leave a comment if you like those hearts because I'd love to know because if I do use those, I need to get cracking and make a lot more. I always make spares and then the spares I often just include as freebies when people place large orders on my Etsy store. Um, it's kind of a fun little freebie. And then also I do sell them at times, but it just depends on how many extra I have. So yeah, just a, a fun little note. Usually if you spend more than $30 in diamond painting, wax and putty I'll toss in a cover minder for free. Now it's not guaranteed every time but I'm usually pretty consistent about doing it. Um, like I've been over the summer I made a bunch of polymer clay lollipops so I would include some of those but I also had some up for sale. I need to make more but I'm gonna make them um, Christmassy colored. Although I might make some for fall. It'd be fun to do like fall colored polymer clay lollipops. I don't know. I'm curious if anyone would be interested in those though. I really like polymer clay. I've been practicing or trying to make pens with polymer clay and then coat them in resin, but they have not been turning out as well. Uh, I made a few and surprised just a few buyers, like um, maybe, I want to say it was over the summer, yeah, probably July, a few people got free pens just because they were test pens I was making, so I wasn't going to sell them, but I don't know, it's, uh, it's different, like when I do resin pens, it's... I mean, there is a science to resin, and resin is such a pain in the butt <laughs> to work with. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, I mean, mixing it, the temperature, there's a lot of science behind it that people don't realize, and I find that kind of interesting because I've had people, you know, in the, in the past, like, oh, resin's easy, and I'm like, not really. Like, you have to, depending on the brand you're working with, like you have to be careful about the dyes and the ratios of dyes that you use because too much dye or too much glitter can throw off the chemical reaction. But also you need your resin to get to a certain temperature. So you need that chemical reaction to start and then you need it to reach a certain temperature as it heats up naturally from that chemical reaction before you pour it. Um, especially if you're going to be turning them on a lathe because turning things on a lathe, the lathe gets hot. If you don't do the resin properly and it doesn't cure properly, it'll actually start to warm up and bend on the lathe. I, uh, I had a whole batch that I was impatient. I poured them too quickly. 
even though I was like, ah, oh, it's only five degrees, it'll be fine. It was not. <laughs> I had a whole total of six pens. Um, the lathe got too hot and they literally bent. And because the lathe is spinning so fast, it shot <laughs> the blank across my workshop. Uh, yeah, I wear eye protection, I wear gloves, um, but I am just happy that thing did not hit me because it would have hurt. <laughs> like, it was a blocker resin shot um, across my workshop. And in fact, one of them I still can't find. Most of them I found on the floor, but I cannot, for the life of me, find one of the other ones that just <laughs> disappeared. I'm like, oh shoot, I hope it comes back to me. All right, well, I kitted up this whole floral kit, so I have to run downstairs and get my little, you know, dry erase marker, but see, the florals will be all right here. Well, they look so cute in here though. They look like, look at that from the side. Isn't that just like a bunch of candies? Really pretty. Tons of greens, but it's florals, so. Yeah, I think this is going to be a perfect storage solution. And I like how they can stack on top. That's what these little things here are for. It keeps them from sliding. So if you stack them high. But then I love that they lock together. And I may get more of these. Um, like right now, I'm kind of trying to find the storage solution I like best. The ones in the cases, the zip up cases, I found it's great for travel. But how often do I travel with a diamond painting? <laughs> it's not really a travel friendly art project. However, these little mini ones would definitely be one I would kit up in one of those travel things. But yeah, I don't know, we'll see. I'm liking this art dot for all my mini kits. Um, I'm not a big, I don't understand what these flimsy cheap tweezers are gonna do for me. <laughs> I have a bajillion thanks to Diamond Art Club, so I'm just gonna chuck those. But yeah, thanks for hanging out with me for kind of a little whip and chat in a way because we are kidding up and chatting. Do let me know in the comments below though uh, what you think for cover minders. Would you like some polymer clay, pumpkins, and candy corn? Or would you like some resin black hearts with purple glitter? I don't know if the sparklies are showing up as well. Um, so definitely let me know. And then I might just make some of these too just to sell in the store. They are semi see-through because I didn't put a ton of black on them. But I'd love to know what you guys think would be best. And let me know what you think of the idea of being able to pick between those four scents. Um, I have all the oils I need to make them. So it'll be kind of fun to see how many like order this or that. But it also gives you guys the chance to like pick a scent that won't give you a headache or you know anything like that too so yeah thanks for hanging out with me during this little kit up i can't believe it took me almost a half hour to kit those <laughs> can you my gosh kitting up does take a while though i mean a big painting can take me almost two hours so i guess that's the life right but i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and until next time take care bye now